What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the and some cool so that Geek Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the honest trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong. I really enjoyed the movie. I was Team Kong, even though my boy got whipped like fucking two times back to back, even though he tried to make us feel like he won one time, but he just knocked Godzilla down once. <laughs> then Godzilla whipped his ass. They had to fucking resuscitate the motherfucker, but damn, then Mecha Godzilla came through. And whip the shit out of Kong. I mean, Godzilla. <laughs> my bad. I'm I'm thinking I'm having PTSD to how much time my boy got hit. Then they, they whipped Kong. I mean, Godzilla's ass. I keep saying Kong. You see how much it hurt me that Kong got whipped. <laughs> then Godzilla got whipped by Mega Godzilla and Kong came into the double team and they won that shit. It was mad exciting. You see how I only talked about. Godzilla vs. Kong, direct to us, right? We are ready for a monster verse with just the monster. The humans, why? I don't think they were not unnecessary, like everybody keeps saying. They were right. But that's not good to be a right with a cast that phenomenal. The little girl shine, though. And I'm just gonna watch this on this trailer, even though they were so spiteful with the Snyder cut fans. And I'm a big Snyder Cut fan, but I'm still going to give them a watch. I'm still a fan of them, even though they were so biased for some reason. Maybe they're trying to pick a side, but it was clear what side they were picking. Warner Brothers, let's not waste any more time. I just dive right into this. It's six minutes long. The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. I mean, you can probably tell from the title that Godzilla fights King Kong, but we tell you who wins, if that sort of thing matters to you. In a year where everyone realized we're at the mercy of nature, the world will sublimate that anxiety into watching a giant monkey fight a giant lizard in a perfectly timed release before we snap and punch and or kiss the mailman. I'm scared to see this in a theater. Not because of the virus, I've just completely forgotten how to interact with people. Godzilla vs. Kong You've been moderately pleased by all the legendary kaiju movies so far. Now, tune in for another bad, sober, good with a buzz installment of the sloppiest franchise running, where character and timeline continuity is more of a suggestion, featuring characters they forgot to mention were related, characters they forgot to mention entirely, and characters who forgot they discovered the Earth was hollow in the last movie. The vortex was a tunnel into the hollow Earth. Doesn't matter, I knew I was right. But one thing remains constant. Absolutely no one watching gives a sh about any of it. Now make with the monkey fights. Exactly, I'll agree with that one. Ah, that's the stuff. Meet the humans of the MonsterVerse. Because I had to, so now you do too. They're just here to yell out what's going on, even though there's no way any of them could possibly know that information. This is why Godzilla attacked the Apex facility. They're trying to replace him. It's the axe. It's drawing radiation from the core like it's charging. I mean, it's yeah. filler. They let the audience know. I understand what's... Man, how would you know that? But don't worry. They all have a backstory. Whether it's their dead wife... She was my rock. My truth. Dead brother... What really went wrong? <laughs> On your brother's mission. Dead mom. Or screw it. Dead everyone. <laughs> when the storm took over the island, wiped out the native people. As they carry on the MonsterVerse tradition of hiring great actors, then making them say stuff like this with a straight face. Right now Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. Cringe as the overly dramatic dialogue is way well, was bad with that line. The comedy of the film as you follow along with the most obnoxious fictional character profession, the podcaster. Bad. Yeah, it was a love letter to conspiracy theories. Brian Didn't Tate Elon Musk say it? Branson raised his way through the sharpest conspiracy theory jokes of 2007. <laughs> the Illuminati running shadow economies all to fund a hidden colony for the elite in water. They put fluoride in it. And Millie Bobby Brown returns as his kaiju and on in training. Theory is a mixed docile, easy to manipulate. Plus, this boy is also there in this goofy. Oh, his watch whatever is in up the hunt for the winter. You only need with one of people. Movies, okay? Everyone else is there to either be He's talking over me, so I'm making 
may have said the title wrong. With a title like Godzilla versus Kong, they better deliver on the fights as they pit the titular titans against each other no less than three times. I mean, sure, Godzilla wins two out of three because, I mean, come on, look at the guy. <laughs> Are we counting that other win though? Spends more time on his back than Riley Reed. Yo, that was a shock. Oh my god. But the film will do everything in its power to make you root for the big hairy boy. He's friends with children. He loves snacks. And he's got Thor's axe. I mean, come on, the only endearing thing Godzilla does is destroy part of Florida. But Yo, this movie would be complete without them. God damn, they the throwing end. shots at everybody. Third fighter. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What in God's name is that? Mecha Godzilla. That's Mecha Godzilla. A giant Jaeger created to fight Godzilla until he loses human control and fights Godzilla. <laughs> causing the two beasts to team up against this man-made atrocity and all three of them to team up against the city of Hong Kong. Yo, Hong Kong got fucked, yo. This fight was started at night and ended in the daytime. Goddamn. That was a long-ass fight. Not in the screen time, but like... No wonder this movie is huge in, in China. Perspective. <laughs> oh, Don't shit. See it on the biggest screen you can. Which they don't care no right more, do they? Phone. Even though it's probably best suited for one of those theme park rides with moving seats. Shit. This was a shot, though. That may not be the most intelligent thing you could be watching. But you know what? Neither are we. And we spoke this movie into existence back in 2014. From the company who has the rights to Godzilla, King Kong, and Pacific Rim. So please, please, please do a crossover where they all fight each other and stuff. You're yeah, we, we may... We're missing the Starring. Pacific Rim element to it all. Down, you can say Mega Godzilla Reptile is, but wins. just make out already. You're perfect for each other. On today's show, we're gonna reveal the horrible truth. But first, I'd like to tell you about Squarespace. Billionaires shouldn't exist. Mecha like a high, Mecha Heidi Ho. The Chris Hemsworth of the Brothers Skarsgård. Let them fight. <laughs> Preteen Titans and. Physics? A like Titans punch out. Okay, not trying to kink shame, but why are all these monsters always trying to spit in each other's mouths? That's not a thing real animals do. They learn this from watching people. That's gross. I want to cry so bad. Man. It's something. <laughs> something. They on the trailers are iffy these days, but. Still a good watch, I must say. They have some valid points and jabs at everybody. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I was my, uh, I was Team Kong. Even though he got his ass whooped, I'm still Team Kong. I mean, he paid without heart strings. I'm a human being at the end of the day. I have feelings. And Kong, and Kong was the feelings in this movie. The heart of the movie. You know what I'm saying? Us, Josh Whedon, what that happened? What happens when you cut the heart out of the movie? You know what I'm saying? Did you read the new Hollywood Reporter article about him? He's loving life right now. <laughs> Talking about Josh Whedon. Anyway, great reaction, y'all. Like if you like my reaction. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Deuces.